Hi, my name is Jay Alexander, and I'm the plant manager at Timpkins New Industrial Service Center in Union, South Carolina. Our new state-of-the-art facility provides remanufacture and repair services for a wide range of bearing sizes, up to 51 inches in outside diameter. We also repair all bearing types, regardless of the manufacturer. Today I'd like to show you around and explain each step in our process, from receiving a bearing to final inspection and shipment back to the customer. At each stop, you'll get a chance to see our advanced equipment, how it works, and how it helps return bearings to like new condition. Timpkins South Carolina Service Center is one of the latest additions to our global manufacturing network. This 50,000 square foot facility houses polishing, machining, and grinding equipment used to restore bearings for longer service life. We also have various manufacturing capabilities and can make many common replacement parts on site. All of these operations are conducted by our highly trained Timpkin repair experts, all working together to provide outstanding quality and service from start to finish. Our first step is to inspect incoming bearings to assess their condition. Upon arrival, the bearing is transported to a large industrial washer, which removes dirt and grime. It also cleans up the bearing so that we can get a better look at what types of wear and damage have occurred during operation. After the washing, we measure the bearing, checking the inner and outer diameters and the widths. We manually inspect the roundness of all the parts and mark any visible load zones with face boundary lines. This helps us identify the location of the last service load on the component after the remanufacturing process is complete. It's also where we mark our service ID in case it needs to be referred to later by the customer. After the initial inspection and cleaning, we prepare a report detailing our findings and listing all measurements. We also provide a quote for the work required to repair the bearing. The inspection report and quote are sent to the customer for review and approval. After the quote is accepted, the bearing's non-raceway surfaces are polished on one of several machines. While polishing improves the appearance of a used bearing, it's also important to restore in its surface finish. A smooth surface finish is critical to bearing performance. In addition to polishing, we generally recommend that bearing raceways, which have been in service, be ground to remove damage that polishing cannot. That's why, after polishing, the bearing components are sent to specialized grinding machines where the races are skin ground to remove damage. Depending on the bearing size and type, it's assigned to one of our mini grinding machines. In addition to a 60-inch Blanchard surface grinder, we also have specialized shoe grinding equipment. The shoe grinder helps us maintain up to class 3 precision runouts as we're working with parts that are out of round. Our large universal CNC grinder enables us to grind a wide range of bearing sizes and configurations. It also features an integrated turning tool for green and hard turning. Since we're also a bearing manufacturer, we have capabilities to provide many unique and specialized processes that can deliver OEM finish and geometry. To ensure consistent grinding results throughout the plant, we're fully equipped with a centralized coolant system, and the facility is completely HVAC controlled to maintain temperature and humidity. These systems help us maintain and accurately measure the tolerances required on precision product. Sometimes certain parts can't be repaired. That's where our manufacturing operations come in. At our new facility, we're equipped to make many standard replacement parts like cage rings, pins, and spacers right on site. We use a state-of-the-art CNC vertical turning lathe to turn high-quality rings out of forgings. In our five-axis CNC machining center, holes, slots, grooves, and other required features are added. Replacement rollers are supplied to us from multiple Tempkin manufacturing facilities. In addition, our South Bend Service Center is fully capable of making any style replacement roller necessary. Recent investments in Timpkins South Bend facility have enhanced our turning, grinding, and gauging capabilities for rollers. We recently installed a new CNC bar feed turning lathe that features a second turret for drilling or any other secondary operation to be done during the same cycle. 
A new CNC roll grinder helps us maintain new product, roller profiles, and surface finishes. And our new gauge room at South Bend includes many new technologies, including a proprietary Tempkin gauge so that we can measure high precision roller profiles. Also, a new measuring machine enables us to calibrate and certify in process gauging. All of the equipment found in South Bend and in our new South Carolina facility uses the latest technology and is comparable to machinery found in any of our global manufacturing plants. And when we can't manufacture a specific replacement part ourselves, such as a cup or a cone, we turn to any of our manufacturing plants to provide what we need. Most often, we utilize our Tiger River plant, which is just down the road. After grinding is completed and any necessary replacement parts are made, the bearing undergoes another inspection. We follow the same procedures that our manufacturing plants do, checking key product characteristics and ensuring quality of work. The bearing is also subjected to magnetic particle testing, which checks for surface imperfections that may not be seen to the naked eye. This testing also verifies that the damage recorded in the initial inspection was completely removed during our race grinding process. Then the bearing is measured again. For example, on our tapered roller bearings, we use a digital buildup gauge that measures the stack up of the bearing. It also calculates the spacer widths needed to set the bearing to the exact end play called out by the bearing specification. Then it's on to assembly where all the repaired and new parts are put back together. Every bearing we remanufacture is handled individually, handcrafted, and hand assembled. Each bearing is also marked with a repair identification number on the stamp face of the bearing. For packaging, we follow the same procedures as our manufacturing plants, preparing bearings for shipping as if they were new. The package includes custom crates and special labeling that designates it as a remanufactured bearing. We fulfill a variety of special packaging requests, taking great care to ensure that our bearings are not damaged during shipping back to the customer. For instance, we use a special process to preserve bearings that will be stored for a long time before use. Export packaging is also available, where we use materials that can stand up to rough handling, water damage, insect infestation, and other challenges common to international shipping. Along with industrial bearing repair services, our new facility offers services for specialized products. For example, this location is home to Race Pack, which is Tempkin's patent wheel hub design for NASCAR. We perform all the final measure, grease, assembly, specialized serialization, and packaging of all new Race Pack products. We also service the hubs after each race. While most of the bearings we repair are very large, we also provide caster customers with a reclamation program for high volumes of small bearings. And we have the flexibility to modify existing bearings to accommodate the changing requirements of your application. Whether it's adding lubrication holes or changing internal clearances, we can do it here. Throughout the entire process, our associates make sure that we meet Timken's global quality standards. Each associate is highly skilled in the bearing manufacturing process. In fact, our team has more than 500 years combined experience, with an average of 27 years experience per associate. And when we need additional expertise, we collaborate with other Tempkin facilities to meet customer needs. Our Tiger River plant provides local manufacturing assistance, as well as product, engineering, and metallurgical support. We receive assistance from our corporate design, application, and research engineers from around the globe. And we work closely with our team of sales and service engineers to provide you with expert advice on our bearing repair services. Thanks for joining me today on a tour of our newest addition to Timpkins family of industrial service operations. On behalf of all of our associates at Timpkin Repair Facilities in South Carolina and around the world, we're excited to help you save time and money by returning your bearings, Timpkin or any other brand, to like new conditions.